Well, it's 740 and this little guy is so adorable. He <laughs> is not really so little, but he is a miniature pincher. His name is Reginald mm -hmm. and he is from the Maryland SPCA looking for a good home and he's as friendly and as excited as he could be. He is. I fell in love with his this morning. He's just, I think he's dapper. That's he's why he has his bow dapper. tie on today. And he's and, had a uh, healthy winter. He, he definitely <laughs> has. He does need a little bit of exercise, but it does not slow him down. Oh my gosh. All. How old is he? <laughs> he's five years old oh, so cute. Um, and he was oh transferred goodness. to us from another shelter. Mm -hmm. um, he rides beautifully in the car and just loves people and was so excited to make his television debut this morning. Oh my gosh, he's great. So he's, <laughs> is he good with other animals? Um, I don't know so much about other animals, mm -hmm. but every person he has come in contact with, he did great. He's a loving And them. he actually just laid oh, sorry, down buddy. in I the gotcha. back seat today on my way in. So oh my he, gosh, I think he's he'll awesome. do very, very well. And he's well. up for adoption? He is up for adoption. Ready to go? Ready to go, ready to find his forever home. All right, well, and we're gonna talk about <laughs> dogs and cats in the backyard, specifically dogs though, and things that are good for them and bad for them, and vegetables. Absolutely, it is gardening season. Mm -hmm. We all wanna get out there and plant our vegetables, but there are definitely some things you need to think about. Okay. Carrots, yes, go okay, for it. They're plant good. your carrots, mm -hmm. your green beans, plant them. I found this interesting. Tomatoes. Yeah. Tomatoes that are red mm -hmm. are great, but when they are still green, they can actually be toxic to your dog. Seriously, or your cat. I didn't know that. Also, the actual plant mm -hmm. can be toxic. So the you leaves, really wanna, eating the leaves. Okay. Yeah, you want to make sure that you put some fencing up around okay. so that your dog or cat can't get to that. Onions as well. Um, before we just went on, I was telling you, mm -hmm. I learned that the hard way this week. One of my dogs did get into some onions we mm -hmm. had planted and really had some intestinal issues for the entire week. Not good. Um, yep, so you want to stay wow. away from that. Potatoes mm -hmm. also are good when they're cooked, mm -hmm. but when they're raw, not good. they're not so good. I wonder why, no. just the different chemical um, makeup of it? I think so, when, when they're cooked, cooked not? Yeah. exactly. And then cucumbers are always a good okay. one to go with. Um, again, you kind of want to really research what you're mm -hmm. planting in your backyard, and if it is something that isn't good for your animal, mm -hmm. make sure that you put up fencing, something to keep them out. Also, when you're planting, think about your soil. Yeah. Make sure that there's no chemicals in that. And mm -hmm. also your mulch. People kind of forget the mulch. We want our, our backyards to look gorgeous, but they can also be dangerous for your pets. So just do your research. The story we ran earlier is there's a certain type of mulch with cocoa in it yeah. that's worse mm -hmm. than eating chocolate for Absolutely. the dogs. Absolutely. It may look pretty, but we don't want our animals to, to be hurt by it. All right. And again, tell people where they can adopt this cute little guy. They can come see us at the Maryland SPCA today from 11 to 4. We have so many cats and dogs that are looking for great homes, and Reginald will make a wonderful addition to anybody's Did home. you see his smile, Chick? Yeah. I mean, he smiles from <laughs> ear to ear, and it reaches his eye. He's so great. Aww. And he loves to give kisses. He's so great. <laughs> Contact the Maryland SPCA, the number right there on your screen, 410-235-8826, or visit mdspca.org. <laughs>